I'm gonna give you my recipe for the quickest, easiest buffalo style wings. Really delicious. A couple of little hacks to making these wings eat beautifully and just fall off the bone. I'm keeping it super simple so you can knock it out really quickly and really simply. So it's a one pound wonder, all happens in there. We're gonna start with the rub first. First ingredient is a brilliant ingredient for us all to have in our pantries, that's smoked paprika. And it couldn't be simpler, one teaspoon of smoked paprika goes in. Then we're gonna go in with some cayenne pepper, another level teaspoon. So that's a little bit of heat going there, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of heat, we love that. Ground garlic, easy to get. Again, another little teaspoon, right? So it's gonna give you that lovely kind of funky pong, really delicious. And then a curveball ingredient, a little bit of bicarbonate of soda. Now this gives you a kind of crispiness. It helps to pull the moisture out of the chicken wings and push the marinade into it. So it's a nice little curveball ingredient there. And then of course, a nice generous seasoning of salt and pepper goes in. So that is basically our rub. Mix it up and that is gonna be so tasty and give a lovely dimension to our lovely wings. Now, let's talk about wings. These are lovely free range chicken wings. I wanna give you the option of a little preparation that I love and all my kids absolutely adore. First of all, what I wanna do is you've got the three parts of the wing, right? The little winglet, the smaller wing, and the fatter wing. I'm gonna to go to that little joint. It's very simple to do. Get a knife and I'm just gonna cut through the joint here and there's the small wing like that. We've got the wing and winglet here, right? And just eating that off the bone is kind of super old school, very traditional, the lovely sweet meat. It's gonna be juicy and delicious. But then I wanna give you a hack for changing things up a bit, turning this humble bit of a wing into a little lollipop, right? So to do that, we go to that little knuckle here, rotate the bone and cut around it like this, right? Then grab the bone and take the tip of the knife and just push, can you see, just push the meat off the bone and you've got that incredible little lollipop like that. Okay, so it's a completely different vibe. And again, it's the same sweet, delicious meat, but those little hacks, I think, are what people remember. You know, everyone's had wings, they've had them a thousand ways, it's nice to change things up. So you get a bit of meat there, nibble that off, and you get that lovely end like that. Go in with the lollipops and the winglets, just mix it up, and let's get the flavor happening. There you go. You can see how it's taken on all of that beautiful flavor. Let me just wash my hands and then we'll get that in the oven. So what we're gonna do now is cook those chicken wings for 25 minutes at 220 degrees Celsius, which is 430 Fahrenheit. So in the oven for 25 minutes until crispy and golden, and then I'll show you how to glaze it. So the chicken's had 25 minutes. It smells amazing. Have a little look at that. So in that short amount of time, you get some real nice texture, crispiness, sizzle. I'm gonna put it on a low heat and then we're gonna start adding the glaze ingredients. So first up, we're gonna go in with just a knob of butter. In some of the traditional recipes, oh my God, I've never seen so much butter used, but we're gonna, we're gonna try and restrain ourselves. So this will never be healthy for sure, but uh, we can make it healthier. I'm gonna use a cider vinegar, really, really nice. So that goes in with the butter and it also starts to clean the pan. All those sticky bits of chickeny goodness. Next up, we're gonna go in with Worcestershire sauce. Then we're gonna go in with a tablespoon of Frank's Red Hot Original Cayenne Pepper Sauce, come on. And then last but not least, a nice tablespoon of runny honey. Give it a little shake. Look at the shine. Come on, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful. So what I like to do now is pop it back into the oven and turn the oven off. I don't want to carry on cooking the glaze because I don't want it to burn. I just want that residual heat of the oven to make that glaze perfectly stick to every little wing. It's gonna be amazing. So look, absolutely you could serve that as a plate of wings with a beer, happy days. Midweek meal, I just love it with really plain steamed or boiled rice, nice little pile of it with a nice little shred or chopped salad for a little bit of tang and crunch. And with that, a little fried egg is just a thing of joy. But let me show you what I'm gonna do. Uh, first up, I'm gonna just shred some spring onions. So just finely slice it, go as fine as you can. Uh, it's not really my speed, but traditionally, often they have 
the beautiful kind of blue cheese sauce to go with their buffalo wings. I've done a kind of play on it. I'm still not convinced, but I've done it with Stilton cheese, a really good one, uh, with some yogurt. The question is, for me, is that and that is kind of like, there's a lot going on. But look, you know, you can make your own mind up. I'm gonna serve it on a nice big platter. So blue cheese there. We've got these amazing wings. Look at that, fantastic, shiny and delicious. Let's just serve these up. The glaze is just sticking to it beautifully. So in with the wings first. Then you've got those fantastic little lollipops. Look, look, how cool are they? Take some of those spring onions and just sprinkle it over the top. And there you go, look at that. Beautiful buffalo wings. A little one pan wonder. So straightforward, so quick to do. And look at that glaze. Would like to have a little try? Mmm. Full of flavour. Those wings are absolutely amazing. Quick, easy, straightforward. A brilliant little hack on how to get those little lollipops. Great. It's really good. I'm so pleased. Yummy.